Hello, Miami. Welcome to Let's Chat with Disco George. Today, I'm bringing back an old friend of the show. She hasn't been here in a while, but you know what? I had to bring her back because she is now on the cover of Inspire Health with her friend, Dr. Danae. And today we don't have Dr. Danae, but we have Patty Vila from Patty Mila Marketing and Media. So she is a fantastic guest, and I can't wait for you to listen to everything that's been going on. Patty, welcome to the show again. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How's it going? It's going great. Tell me. How has this been being on the front page of Inspire Health? I'm so proud of you. I'm like, it, it's incredible. Thank you. Because you, you've seen my journey. Yes, my I journey have. from when I started at CNN as a secretary and, and moved my way up to now all these different things that I've been working on. Yeah, you know, it's it's funny that you say that because I remember meeting you and you told me, Oh, I'm gonna be going to Cuba. And I was like, Oh my God, this girl has it. She's yes. a star. And you know what? I saw that you were a star then, and look, the proof is in the pudding. You're on the front page of Inspire Health now. Yes, yes, it's been really exciting. Um, it's been very well received in the community. Dr. Danae and I have been contacted from, you know, friends that we haven't spoken to in a long, in a long time, community members, um, people that have really enjoyed reading the story. You know, texting, calls, emails. So it, it's been it's been a lot of fun, and putting the story obviously together for a magazine that we absolutely love um, is great. Absolutely, and you're both fierce. Yes. <laughs> so and you know, I, I just love. As a matter of fact, I love the cover. Fierce and fearless. Yes. Now I'm going to ask you which one is fierce and which one's fearless. Which one are you? Both. You're both? Yes. Ella también. Ella también. Ella también. Ella también. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me how uh, you met Dr. Danae so you could, we could hear a little bit about the story and how this blossomed together. Yes. Well, Dr. Danae and I met when we were both working for Tenet Healthcare. Okay. And I was the PIO and the representative for um, the five hospitals in Miami-Dade. And she was the director of the emergency room at Hialeah Hospital. And, you know, we became friends. We were working together on different projects, just like I was at the different hospital systems. And when COVID hit, that's when we became very close. Um, remember that when COVID hit, no one really knew at the beginning what was going on, what was happening. We were getting mixed messages. And when you're working inside a hospital system um, and where no one can get go inside, the public can't go inside, only the people that work there, you form a bond. So I really, truly believe that everyone that worked in, in a hospital around the world have bonds with people that we worked with. So that's how our uh, friendship blossomed. Yeah. And, and you actually, uh, it becomes a work family. You have your family at home. Yes. But it's incredible, especially, I'm sure, the hours that you guys spent together during covid with mask, it was it was it was a crazy, crazy, unsure time because nobody knew. Nobody knew. Nobody no, knew. Nobody knew. I mean, I remember even the vaccine coming out and a lot of um, different providers saying, get the vaccine, don't get the vaccine. Even those discussions in the hospital, um, sit, you know, six feet away, wear your mask. I mean, it was very, very stressful times, very stressful times. But uh, that's when we became very good friends. Um, Danae was one of, Dr. Danae was one of the the first one actually in Miami-Dade County to put the tent outside of the emergency room. Oh, wow. So when patients would come, they would be assessed outside in, until you know they would be brought into the emergency room we just thought that that was the best protocol to have mm -hmm. and that's when all the other hospitals started falling suit so you guys have blossomed into a fantastic relationship yes tell me uh i know you just did an event in hialeah together can you tell us a little about some of the events that you do together with the community? Absolutely. Um, both Danae and I believe in, in community service. I mean, I started doing community service here when I was 14 years old, and I was a candy striper at Miami Children's Hospital, which is now Nicholas. And, um, you know, Danae has had community service as part of her history in her life. And we just did a partnership with Miami-Dade College Hialeah, the city of Hialeah Firefighters, and Larkin Hospital to bring health care to the community. 
Miami. Oh, so wow. we had t 27 different vendors came to Miami Dade College Hialeah. I have to give a shout out to uh, Judy and to Dr. Georgette, who is the right president. There, right over there. Let's, let's yes, do the main yes, camera. let's do it. I love them both. Their passion for this community, their passion for helping everyone is amazing. And uh, so we, we had our at there and we had a really wonderful, great response. That's awesome. And are you going to be doing any other new events with her? As a matter of fact, yes, we're going to be partnering with them again in uh, 2025. Okay. But we actually, Which is right around the corner. Right around the corner. But we actually have an event that we're going to be doing January 11th at Larkin Hospital, which is going to be called The New Year, The New You. Everyone is invited. Um, we are partnering with Integrated Minds, a very good friend of mine, also a another tenant person, a hmm. former tenant person, Bel Valladares. She She's, she's absolutely terrific, and she's going to be leading a wonderful meditation in the beautiful uh, property that Larkin has. I mean, where, they have is, this... where is the? Well, do you know the address off the top? No, of your head? off the top of my head, I I don't. Uh, but it's in Hialeah. It's in Hialeah. It's in Hialeah. La ciudad que progresa. <laughs> Exactamente, la ciudad que, que progresa. <laughs> but if somebody wants to find out about this, they could follow you on social media. Where where they find this yes, information? Yes, absolutely. To please call me, and uh, you know my phone number is 305-498-9660 anyone can call me and it's going to be taking place january 11th on the beautiful property of larkin community hospital palm springs Ang Hialeah. Ang Hialeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome well no, so the, so you you finished that up with community et lo otro, but you just came back from vegas i just a little birdie told me that you were in vegas and yes. you went to get an award yes tell us about the award yes well to my surprise um and it came as actually a very big surprise i was contacted by by a global organization. Um, they're a chamber, global chamber for women. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were honoring different women in different industries from across the country, as well as we had three different women come from um, across the globe. And it was wonderful walking on the stage, being acknowledged for, you know, my work in journalism, my work in communications, and sitting actually, they did a day of conferences. So it was. Um, very inspiring to me and very comforting to hear from the women that spoke as well as the women that I networked with because I realized at that moment, um, being the only one from Miami and meeting women from a across the country that we're all rowing in the same direction, that everybody's working hard, that everybody's doing, you know, has a full-time job, but is really pushing their passions through um, and actually just engaged. They want to be engaged. They want to be meeting other people. They want to be going to these conferences and, and doing these things and investing your, in yourself is something that I believe in that I think everybody should be doing, especially now in this time that we're working and, and living in. Let me ask you, since this is, and I just thought of this, you know, hanging out with women from around the world. Yes. Okay. Uh, did you learn anything that you didn't expect when you got there, you know, you probably I'm sure you had like a mindset. Oh, I'm going to go enjoy the moment. But what what else did you did you get from the, the whole ordeal of being in Vegas with women from around the world in your industry that people are working harder than ever? That's something that I really took away um, that people some people have maybe, like I said, mentioned before, their job and their passion mm -hmm. um, and people really having a sense of wanting to connect same minded women connecting and um the problems that we face here women face here in miami-dade county in south florida are the same challenges and problems that women face across the country and around around the world i mean that was very very interesting for me to to experience that because you know how sometimes when you're working so hard and this is something that dr Denny and i talk about on a weekly basis right, right. you're working so hard you're wondering if it's only you that's going through this because you see everybody smiling and and laughing in pictures all the times right? right when you go on social especially nowadays right? especially nowadays but you wonder how can they be doing this is this like this all the time and that's why being surrounded by these women um really solidified for me that many of us are are going through this together right, right. well i'm gonna tell you to defend the men too yes uh, I get that a lot too, believe it or not. And I actually, I'm not as social and interactive as, as you are, but I get that just when I do events like the one I did the other day with you mm -hmm. and they're like, oh yeah, you're, you're always at all these parties and these events and et lo otro. And I'm like, believe it or not, that's actually working. Yes. We are enjoying, we're having alcohol, we're having hors d'oeuvres, but we're networking, meeting new people. 
And you never know who my next interview is going to be. That's so, correct. <laughs> and I, I've met many contacts. So it's not only the women, just to be, you know, to be fair, you know, we're, because the guys are also, well, you know what? The women are trying, they're, they're, they're the competition now because you girls are up and coming and you're fierce and you're hungry for it, right? Yes. Yes. So it's it's both. It's I think it's everybody. You know what? You're right, and and it is everybody. It's men included. Um, because and that's why when we when Danae and I picked the name for the article, what we wanted it to be fierce and fearless. Men, the word men is in that title. If you think about that, right? right. And we have a lot of male friends. And our male friends have actually told us that this year has been a very hard year for them, that 2024 has been a difficult year, that right. it's been one of the difficult years maybe that they've encountered. And I'm talking about, you know, I'm not going to divulge names, but I'm talking about people in the community. I right? need to have names. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really people in the community that right. have said, listen, it's taking harder. It's it's taking me longer to get this done or it's taking me longer to get this contract or exactly. I have to be meeting with more people and, and things are a lot more complicated than before. And uh, I, you're right. Everyone is going through that experience. Yeah. And you like I we said before, you have to work hard before. Sometimes they would say work smart, not hard. But now you have to do both. You do. You, you have, do to have to do both. Yeah, you do have to do both. And speaking of working hard, I know you worked very hard. I know you put so much service in everything in community. And it's funny that we're here at Miami Community Service. <laughs> but I know you went to the Dominican Republic. Yes. Uh, a little while back ago. Tell us about that service, that trip that you did that to help, you know, and I told you, are you sure you want to go to Dominican Republic? This is this is no AC over there. Yes, I remember. I do remember you giving me advice and telling me all of that. Um, this is definitely something that I wanted to do. We traveled with um, foster children from Miami-Dade County, and it was a life-changing experience, right? And we were able to build 16 latrines for people that, very, very poor people that live uh, two hours in the outskirts of uh, Santo Domingo. And uh, it was an incredible experience for the adults that traveled as well as for the children. I mean, I really do believe that, like I've said before, people should give back. Um, I was the first marketing director that Chapman Partnership ever had. Oh, and this wow. was when Alva Chapman was alive. And as you know, Alva Chapman was such a pillar in this community. And, you know, working at Miami Children's, volunteering there as a candy striper and just other things that I've been involved with, helping people and especially in mental health, which is a, a big um, problem that we're facing right now in, in around the world and, and especially in, in this country. Um, my passion has always been to give back because my parents taught me that you know and this year one of the other things that i really enjoyed was i you know that healthcare is very important to me and everybody having access to health care is um is something that i that i treasure and that i think is important and i just in back in march and eight or april and beginning of april i got on a plane with my best friend and i said come on we're gonna go walk the halls of congress and we're gonna talk to different um congress people in oh, different wow. states and uh so we did that and, yeah, and I, just, I think we have a reference on that and yes who, whose office were you in uh, well that office is in um congresswoman maria elvira sarasan who just okay. actually got reelected. But her staff was uh, very gracious. Actually, everybody that we met with was was very gracious. All their staff and they, and they listened and they um, took notes. Did you notes. get to meet any of the you know the people or the, not? No, mostly staff members. The staff staff members. members because they're the ones that really you know take the notes and and do the work and and talk to the Congress people. So we got to meet with uh, the staff members. One of the things that was also talking about is I work with Pedro, Dr. Pedro Martinez Clark, Dr. PMC, as everybody knows him in the community. This year he started a foundation called Miami Institute to Stop and Amputations oh, and uh, diabetes is actually going to um, be explode. It's it's very high levels right across the country, but right. it's even going to go higher. It's, it all has to do because of our nutrition and what we eat, being overweight, um, sometimes being obviously stagnant. yes, being stagnant, hereditary, and this is something that's very important to him in conjunction with the American Heart Association. Um, so we were talking a lot about diabetes in, in this visit, diabetes and uh, and the American Heart Association and Amavita Heart and Vascular. Wow. Well, yeah, I, I actually uh, met him and he was so nice and so pleasant. He is. 
He I, is. I, we're going to have to get him on the show We next are going to have to get him on the show because he really needs to come talk about all the clinical trials that he's doing and um, all the different projects that he partners with because he is always at the forefront before everybody else doing the work for the community. I mean, this year alone with his practice, we've done uh, 13 free screenings. Our oh. last one was in Liberty City. We um, saw 17 patients, and all 17 patients were either borderline for peripheral artery disease or tested positive for peripheral artery disease. Wow. So this is something, this is his passion, and, and I love being on the journey with him, That's, educating the community. It's all about the journey, right? It's all about the journey. It's all about the journey. It's all about the journey. You also had a journey by Jackson yes. that you guys did school supplies a couple months ago. Tell us about yeah, that. How we, was that journey? It was awesome. You know, we have since because our close knit fa tenant family, um, you know, people grow, people want change. And uh, I had a very good group of fam uh, very good friends, uh, Vicky and Jessica, that are nurse leaders actually at Jackson North. And they did a lunch box drive and uh, supplies for kids. And that was uh, really fun. And I really thank them for that because oh, the whole yeah, hospital. Those are, those are some good quality yes, ones too, yes. right? <laughs> the whole community there came together and, uh, and they did that for for the foster kids and that was really really nice of them to do yeah that's and one I of those things them. i always enjoy seeing on the news when you see they're giving out the backpacks and with the supplies it, it really does help it does it, it does. Really does and help. larkin does that as well i mean they do larkin hospital dr janae leads th those efforts as well and uh she's you know she, they're always doing things for the community for the kids for the seniors um and just for people in general well, pretty soon we're going to need more senior stuff. Yes, that's true. <laughs> that's very true. I already got my double ARP card. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be applying for mine. Well, I'm soon. telling you. Yes. I, I, I get a discount through AT&T too yes. also. <laughs> Why not? Let's talk about Patty Mila, Patty Vila Media. Yes. Because that's that's who you are. Yes, that is who I am. You know, you do you work with the hospitals, you do all this community work, but bottom line that's your company. That's yes. That's your baby. That is. That is. So, so tell us what's next with Patty Patty Vila Media. Just you know, helping any a brand that needs some help. I mean, this year it's been really a lot of fun. You know, continuing my work with Dr. Pedro Martinez Clark um, with Larkin Hospital. This summer, uh, I worked with Key Biscayne, and uh, we worked on a really nice project together, and that was very very fulfilling. Um, a lot of writing and just strategy behind things that were done for them, yeah. and uh, then recently. Recently, I just did a ribbon cutting for Dr. John Gottlieb, who is a spine surgeon out of Mercy Hospital. Oh, wow. And uh, he just moved his office, actually, from Mercy to Coral Gables. And his wife, who is Belle, is uh, Integrated Minds, is located with him. And they're doing phenomenal work. And that's actually, once again, that's the person that's going to be leading our yoga retreat. Oh, on January 11th. Wow. It all it all comes together. Right? It all comes together. Well, because I believe that all of us are connected. All yeah. of us are connected one way or another. Um, and something sometimes things flow and sometimes they don't. Uh, but the universe always has a way of helping you find where where to get to. You also, I know, did a couple months ago, maybe even a year already. You did at the Arsh yes. event. Tell us a little bit about that because. You don't only just do healthcare. You you have a broad scope of uh, knowledge. Yes, and that was really fulfilling. Um, that was for the Ballet Foundation, mm -hmm. and it was you know ballerinas the most the 40 leading uh primary ballerinas from all over the world came to miami to the arch center for two nights and one thing that i really enjoyed about that obviously you know meeting all of these beautiful dancers but working with ballet foundation we gave away 500 tickets to different nonprofits in the community and um i was able to you yes the word community <laughs> yes, is coming yes, up again the word oh my community. God. yeah we were able to give away 500 tickets wow. to the different nonprofits because that's one of the things that the organization wanted to do and especially since it was around the holidays um some of the children their parents can't afford for them to go watch a beautiful show like this so we were able to 
to to invite them. So that was a lot of fun. A little stressful because well, I was well, I was the one that was directing all the tickets. But it was isn't it, it was, always stressful. Yes, Patty. but it, it's <laughs> always stressful. It doesn't matter how and you know this. It yeah. doesn't matter how small the event is. It's always stressful. Oh my god! Because yeah. you want everything to be. You and I are both Type A personalities, and we want everything to be perfect. Absolutely. So it was very 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 fulfilling to be part of that project. And of course, we cannot forget food. Food. You also have done some restaurant marketing and stuff. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that because you know I love food. Yes, and I love food too. We both love food. <laughs> we're both foodies. Yes, we're both foodies. Well, both of us have supported um, Chef Chris yes. at his events, and I'm sure I'm looking forward to 2025 to see what Chef Chris is going to be doing. Exactly. Um, but this year I had the opportunity to work with Chef James, um, who is an Emmy-winning you know, television host, He's an incredible chef, um, an incredible human, and uh, I love his cooking and I love his energy. So, it, it, and I have to say, the few months that I worked with him, it was really, really fun because, once again, working with positive people, and especially when you're on the right journey, right, that you're on, working professionally, and when you're happy, it's fun and yeah. it doesn't feel like work. So that's true. Yes. Yeah, so I, I love working with people like that that think out of the box. And uh, we have next Thursday, we're going to be going together to Chef Rita's new restaurant that's, that's opening. Yes. Burger Bob's. So right. everybody needs to come out and support Chef Rita, our catering and events, that she's a good friend of ours. When's the, when's the actual opening? Do you know? Um, I don't know, but I know that next Thursday is the ribbon cutting. So I'm assuming that it'll she's going to open. It'll be right after that. Oh, I but got, she's an incredible person. And actually, that is the person that every time I am hired to do events, she is the catering company that I use because she is kind. She is professional and her food is always on point and she just makes the magic happen. It's all about the magic. It's all about the magic. Too funny. Yes. Well, to close out because our time is finishing up, yes. you know, these interviews go so quickly. Yes, they do. <laughs> how, how would you, uh, what message do you have to the, to the people uh, about Patty Vila Media. Well, I think if anybody wants to contact me, if anybody needs help with brand strategy, marketing, public relations, social media, they can give me a call. Uh, Patty Vila Media on IG on 305-498-9660. You can call me anytime. And one of the other things that we were talking about prior to this that I'm very passionate about is, you know, both you and you and I have known each other for a really long time and we've had blessed lives right but we also know that a lot of people are going through a hard time and i just want everybody to try to embrace the journey that they're on we're coming into a new year 2025 to be positive if anyone out there needs mental health ass assistance or you need someone to talk to please call me because i have a list of resources that i can connect you to but uh let's embrace change let's love each other and let's bring joy back into our lives absolutely well thank you for your time thank i you. really appreciate it. and you are fantastic thank you <laughs> you are the best fierce and fearless fierce and fearless, fierce and fearless. <laughs> <laughs> well if you enjoyed the show please give us a like and if you really, really like it, share it with your friends because this is some fantastic information that could help somebody. Yes. And make sure to give her a call. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a great day.